right, good morning, everybody. Who's excited to be here? Through glass doors, beyond a sunlit lobby, and inside hallways flickering like the inside of a movie theater, our front row seats to an exhibition masterpiece of the history, science, and cultural impact of movies. This is the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. It is the first movie museum of its kind in LA, commissioned by the prestigious Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the organization known for the Oscars award show. It matters for Los Angeles to have this film museum. We all know fa uh, films are made everywhere in the world and they are wonderful films. And there are other cities with film museums, but with all due respect, a place like Los Angeles, created by the Motion Picture Academy, this museum has really got to be the Parthenon of uh, such places. I have brilliant, just dedicated colleagues who are so excited to think about what does it mean to open a film museum right now? And how can we delve deeply into history, but also inspire people to shape the storytelling that will happen in the future? the red ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz, the iconic floral May Queen dress from the horror film Midsummer. These are a few of the many treasures that visitors will find on display in the halls of LA's newest monument. It is located on the corner of Fairfax and Wilshire Boulevard in the landmark Saban building that underwent renovations during the construction of the museum that started in 2016. Costing nearly 500 million, the museum is home to over 13 million scripts, props, costumes, and other artifacts that will interchangeably be on display. We've got, you know, 50,000 square feet of gallery space, but then we also have these two working theaters that are happening at the same time. No matter what kind of experience you're looking to have, if you just want to come and see a movie, you can do that. If you want to see a movie and go to the into the galleries, you can do that. So it's really more of like a, almost like kind of like a choose your own adventure for how you want to experience the world of film. The galleries tell the story of cinema from multiple lenses, including race and gender. Even before the awful death of George Floyd, the murder of George Floyd, we had rethought our core exhibitions to talk about our complicated past, the racism, sexism, oppression, homophobia that has run through our film industry. For me, it's a real indication of how the museum is asking the kind of deep questions that will make us be relevant to all of the kinds of cultural conversations that are happening. And I hope that this is a place where people come specifically to have those conversations, where they feel they're getting the information that they need and where they feel like they're safe and can find other people who want to have those dialogues. The Academy Museum will also have temporary exhibits, with its current resident being the Hayao Miyazaki exhibition, highlighting this legendary animator's work including his classic anime film, Spirited Away. We want to make sure that everybody has an amazing experience, so we're, we're being pretty careful about the capacity. We have very robust hours, as I'm sure you saw, we're open seven days a week. So really, there's a lot of experience, of like a lot of time that people can, can kind of engage with the, with the museum. The museum finally opened its doors to the public for self-guided tours, screenings, and more on September 30th, 2021. After years of delay, Hollywood and the city of Los Angeles finally have a movie museum to call home.